All right, after you've gotten all of your site-specific options set up on your Focus website, the next thing you might want to do is delve into your, your design and start customizing it to really fit your brand or whatever image you want to project. And one of the first things we can do to enhance that and really make your site your own is to add a logo. And so by default, you just get your site title, whatever you specified in WordPress, and that's going to display at the top of your site in the header. Uh, you can replace this text with a logo, and that might be more specific to your brand and it may just look better. So we're going to try that first. We'll, we'll do that and we'll go through the uh, mechanics of this and, and talk about how it works. So flip back over to the WordPress admin. We are now in the thesis admin. We're gonna, this time we're gonna go to the skin menu and we're gonna go down to the logo link. We will click that. And this is very simple. All we do is click the select logo button. This is gonna pull up your WordPress media gallery. Select the logo you want to use, set logo and boom. Okay, now we visit the site, hold shift, click refresh. And we can see that the logo image has replaced the site title that was previously there. You'll notice I'm mousing over this thing. These links are clickable, but this logo image is not. There's a good chance you're probably going to want this logo image to be clickable so that when it appears, people can click on that to go back to the home page. So what we're going to do is flip back over here to the admin. We're going to go to the skin menu, and we're going to go to the content and display section now. Going to scroll down at the bottom, you will see if you have activated a logo, this site title link will say, have a little uh, parenthetical here that says includes logo. It's kind of give you a hint, but you wanna, you're going to want to click on that and you can choose the linking options for your, for your new logo. And by default, it's no link. You can link to your home page. This is probably what you're going to want to do. You can link to your blog page or you, if you're using a static home page, you can link to your, your blog page specifically, or you can specify a custom link and have it link wherever you want. But I think most people are probably going to want to use link to home page, so we'll do that. We will save it. We will hold shift and click refresh. And now the logo is clickable, and only the logo is clickable. Uh, I've seen in other themes, as just a quick aside, when this is done poorly uh, in the CSS, that governs the way the link works is not done very well. You often have uh, everything out to the side of the image is clickable. So like you could accidentally click your mouse here and it would it would uh, activate the link. Uh, obviously that's weak. You only want the actual logo itself to be clickable and that's what we have here. So that's how the logo works. But I wanna point out one more thing, one gotcha you may encounter. If you are on the content and display page, which is where we are now, and you go into global layout elements and you deselect the site title. Let's say you had previously chosen this, didn't realize what you did, and, and you had chosen to deselect that, but we go look at the site, there's no logo there. So perhaps you were already running this way, you went in, you specified a logo, you go to your site, you're like, where is it? Well, if it's not showing up, the reason why is because you've suppressed the site title and the logo replaces the site title, so you're going to need the site title to display if you want your logo to display. So there it is. That's what you need to know about the logo image. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll talk about the adding a header image to your focus installation. I'll see you in that video.